Hi, Paddy Bergen here, and I'm going to talk about another aspect from the book Mutual Mindfulness. So I've already done a little video for you of the principle of Irami. In Aikido, the principle of Irami is entering when a, an attack comes at you. Instead of running away, retreating, we move in. So it's an interesting principle, very effective, but you need to know how to do it. So if somebody's going to grab me here or deliver a strike and I move in, then I'm going to get hit or caught. So I have to move in by going slightly to one side as well as moving forward. So it's a tricky move. So as you move in, you've also got to turn the body sideways like this. So the attack comes in. I let it go, basically. So the attack has gone that way. Um, maybe I could show you by using my faithful assistant here. So if you go there and with your right hand, he's going to grab me here. That's what happens. And then we go on. Now he's fixed me and he's going to hit me with his other hand. This is quite a common attack. So if he goes to grab me here, and I'm not there, so his attack has gone past me. One more time. So it could be a strike. Let's see. So I'm, he's not missing me by much, but that's all you need. Thank you. Um, now imagine applying that principle internally. So we all have internal voices, parts of ourselves that are arguing with ourselves, even attacking ourselves. So imagine on the inside, that internal conversation, conflict, your internal part or voice, imagine when that voice is saying like, you're no good, you're not good enough, you can't do that. And you apply the principle of irony. So as the, as, the, as the voice is making that sort of attack, you just allow it to go. So there's no resistance. So internally, you're saying to yourself, you can't do that. So, oh yeah, and you allow it to go. So there is no attack, you don't receive any attack. This is the principle of Irami, and we can begin to think of ways that we can apply it to ourselves, and this is one way. Okay, more tomorrow, bye.